Hi everybody. Um, yeah, we're back on Wendy Vapes. So today we're going to be looking at the Armor Pro. This is by Vaporesso. It does come in a kit. It is a 100 watt device. Um, it's got different settings such as wattage, variable voltage. It's got um, bypass mode. It's got a lot of different features in it. It's very similar to um, a, a couple of their other um, kits that they currently have out. It does come with the tank. This is the Cascade Baby. It does hold five milliliters of e-liquid and it comes with two coils. You get a mesh coil and a ceramic coil, which is kind of different. Usually you get a regular coil and a mesh coil. In this sense, you will get the ceramic coil and the mesh coil. I personally am a fan of mesh, so I'll probably use the mesh coil. So we'll go down low, we'll take a look at it, we'll go through the menu system, I'll show you more about it, and then we'll come back on top and I'll give you my pros and cons. Okay, so here we are with the Armor Pro with the Cascade Baby Tank. This is by Vaporesso. This is the box that it comes in. On the back, you're gonna get an introduction to what it is. It tells you that it takes three types of batteries. It takes a 21700, 2700, and 18650. It does have the 0 .002 second firing speed. Um, and an upgraded Omniboard 4.0 for the InstaFire, and um, it tells you the um, dimensions and spe specifications on everything. And um, yeah, so, and then what's included in the kit. So once you open it up, you get the mod, the Armor Pro, which comes right out like this. Okay, so we've got the Armor Pro mod, and then in this side, you're actually gonna be getting the tank. You're gonna get a spare glass. My tank fell down. There we go, there's the tank. It comes with an extra coil. This is actually the ceramic coil. This is called the GT Cell 2 coil. Um, that is a ceramic coil. This is actually good from 35 to 40 watts. It also comes with your USB charging and firmware upgrade cable. And then you've got your warranty card and there should be a user manual, but this is actually the reviewer version, so it doesn't have the manual in it. Again, it does come with the extra glass. I'm just gonna set all that aside. And here is the tank. We're gonna actually start with the tank. I've actually done this tank already. This is the Vaporesso um, Cascade Baby. If you know me, you know that I love the Cascade tank, the original one. The Baby is just as good. It's just smaller capacity. This does hold five mils of e-liquid. Um, the base is actually 24.5 millimeters. It does um, have Cascade Baby and then it's designed and manufactured by Cascade. I mean by Vaporesso. <laughs> It does have three airflow, really huge airflow slots. Um, so it gives you kind of like a triangular airflow system. And then on the top, you do have a 510 Dilrin drip tip, which is removable. So you can use your own 510 drip tip. I actually have come to like their drip tip and the shape of it. So I don't mind using it. On the top, it is top air or top fill. You have to lift it and then you swivel it. So find the mark, which is right there, and then lift it and push it over, and there you go. Just swivel it out, and you would put your e-liquid there. Again, this is a five mil capacity um, tank, but they do have the two mil capacity for the TPD compliance, so you can get it in two mils. On the bottom, if you unscrew the base, this is where you can actually get to the coil, and this is actually comes pre-installed with the 0.18 ohm uh, mesh coil, and this is what it looks like on the inside. You can see the mesh. And then here is the outside. This is actually gonna tell you the 0.18 and it's good between 50 and um, 85 watts. I personally like I the Vaporesso mesh coil, so we're gonna go ahead and leave that installed. So I'm just gonna put this in there. I do like to, take, to um, turn it the opposite way just so that it grips. And then once it grips, I actually turn it the correct way. So that's just the way that I do it. And if I can put it in correctly, then we can get it, there we go. Okay, so there it is right there. I'm gonna go ahead and start pre um, prepping my coil. And to do that, I'm actually gonna go ahead and take some e-liquid and put it on the cotton that is in there as well as around it. And there we go. Of course, it's dripping out these, I love these bottles. These bottles are just great, but 
Sometimes they develop some liquid on the top. I am using my Royal Muffin from the Queen by Wendy Vapes line. This is actually a biscuit with pear and strawberry jam. If you like biscuits or you like jam, you will love this. And it does use, we do use minimum sweetener, so not that much sweetener, so your coils actually last and your cotton does not gunk up or anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here. Now, um, if you notice, there's like a lot of room there. The reason why they call it the cascade is because even though the liquid is going in here, it actually goes into the bottom and it fills up this whole reservoir here. And it it gives the illusion that you, you don't really have a lot of e-liquid in it, but it actually holds more than you think because the remaining part is actually in the base. So that's why it's called Cascade. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this Once together. you have the base screwed in, all you need to do is just find your little arrow, you lift up and swivel back, and that's where we're gonna fill it. Just go ahead and fill it with your favorite e-liquid. And if you notice, it looks like I'm putting in a lot, but it's disappearing. That's because it's filling up the base, which is the part that it's cascading in. Just go ahead and fill that up, put that aside, close this. And what I'm gonna do is just put this aside while we're priming up the coils and we'll move on to the mod. So the mod again is the Armor Pro. This is the one that I have. I have it in stainless steel. It does come in a variety of colors. It does say Vaporesso here, Armor Pro here. It's got your USB charging port. Here's some battery ventilation. Again, it does take three different size batteries. Inside, you're gonna find the sleeve. This is so that you can use an 18650 battery. It is clearly indicated negative here. On the inside, it does show positive. It's kind of hard to see, but it does have the um, red plus sign down in the bottom. I'm gonna be using my um, 21700 battery. So I'm gonna just see how easy it goes in. It just, just goes right in. Closed, and then it's gonna come on, but it is five clicks on, five clicks off. This, um, bar here or the screen the led screen is actually also your fire bar and then you've got your minus your plus and this is a mode button so um to turn it on or off all you do is press the led screen if you notice it also has a clock one two three four five it will shut off and then to turn it back on one two three four five and there we go now, um, the only thing about this is that this glass or this LED screen is tinted, so the display looks a little bit lighter on camera than it is in person. It is light in person, but it's not as light or as dark um, as you see it here. This is your minus button, so you can go down in wattage or temperature control, and this is how you go up. It shows variable wattage normal here. There's your battery indicator, your voltage, your seconds firing, your puff counter as well as your um, resistance. Currently I'm in wattage, that's why it has the W there. To go into the menu, what you wanna do is just press and hold okay, this so here mode we are button. In the menu. I'm just gonna zoom in just a little bit more, there you go. All right, so we've got exit, the next one is variable wattage hard, then we've got variable wattage normal and variable wattage soft. Those are your vape strength, hard, normal, and soft, so you can pick either one that you want, whatever you pick, it'll show it right here on the display, variable wattage soft. Go back into the menu, you press the mode button, and just hold it and it'll go into it. Custom curve for wattage. This is where you can actually change your custom curves depending on what you want. And then when, you when, you when you're when you done selecting it, you hit the fire button or the display, it'll move over to the very next one. And then you can adjust that one and do the same thing and just keep changing it to whatever custom curve that you want. When you're done, just press and hold your menu button or your mode button, and then it's all set. The next one is super player mode. Super player mode, this is actually an RDA mode. You can go as, well with an RDA, you can go as low as 0.03 ohms up to five ohms, um, but this is only recommended for RDAs. So they did include this for you and you just adjust it the way that you want to. Oops, there we go, put it back in there. All right, and then we've got variable voltage. If you're in this setting, you can go as high as nine volts. Um, so this is just a vapor in variable voltage. This is the custom curve for the voltage. You can adjust it just like you do on the wattage, except for it's gonna be adjusting it in voltage instead of watts. 
The next one is gonna be your temperature control. This is actually stainless steel, nickel, and titanium. If you go into any of those, it's got TCR settings. TCR settings, you can go ahead and adjust it right there. And then go back to the menu, power set. This is where you can actually set your wattage in temperature control, you see there? So whatever I set here will be for temperature control. So it's actually gonna show your wattage down here and then your Fahrenheit or, or um, Celsius, whatever you choose for your temperature, and then your wattage shows right on the bottom. Okay, go back into there. Then you've got custom curve for um, temperature control. It works exactly the same way as the wattage, except for you're gonna be doing it in temperature, con temperature instead of wattage, and you just go through it all the way that I showed you on the custom curb wattage. Okay, and the next one is gonna be lock or unlock. You do have to have an atomizer on to actually lock your resistance. So whatever your resistance is, you can actually lock it. And then once you do, it's actually gonna change the ohm symbol to a lock symbol. And then we've got memory one and two. You go on those, you've got TCR power setting, which is your wattage in TCR, and your lock and unlock also right there. And then the next one is gonna be bypass. Once you change this into a bypass mode, you're actually putting it in an unregulated or a mech mod mode. Um, that I only suggest for advanced users. And then you've got set. Here you can set the time, like I showed you before when we were pulling it out, it's got a clock on it. You can actually set that information. You can set the time and the date. Next one is gonna be your brightness. It's currently on the brightest that it can get, but you can dim it down if you want to. The next one is gonna be your puff counter and you can reset your puff counter right there. And the next one is gonna be your theme colors. You can um, actually change the colors on the screen. And then this one is smart wattage recognition. So if you put on an atomizer, this is set to on and you put on an atomizer, it's actually gonna go ahead and guesstimate what wattage it should be at based off of the resistance of the atomizer or coil that you're using. Right here, this is actually power on or off for auto. This means that if you have it on on, the mod itself will shut off by itself. You don't have to turn it off. Then we've got the scream timeout. This actually goes up to a full hour and as low as three seconds. So you can actually have the screen that long, which is awesome. I love that part. This is where your version is gonna show. So if you do any firmware upgrades, it'll actually show there once you've actually updated it. And this is just to turn it back into the default settings. Like if you make a mistake and you've messed with the power curves and you don't want the power curve setting anymore, you can go ahead and reset it to default if you want. And uh, yeah, so that's it for the menu. And we'll just go ahead and exit here. I'm in wattage. It does go as low as five watts and all the way up to 100 watts. And this is the same in temperature control as well. So let's go ahead and put the atomizer on, which I love this setup. Uh, it fits really, really good in the hand and I love how the atomizer matches it identical, especially with the base of the Addy. So it looks like a perfectly well-groomed kit to me. So let's go ahead and go on top and I'm gonna give you my pros and cons and we'll okay, talk more so about it. Okay, so here we are back on top with the Armor Pro kit and let's have a vape before we start talking about anything. I love their Cascade tanks. I'm sorry, Vaporesso makes like the best sub-ohm tank in my opinion. It's my absolute favorite tank. Um, there's only one other tank that I like just as much as this one. And if I'm not mistaken, it's the Elo, Elo tank by E-Leaf. They're really good too. But this is like one of my top, top, top favorites. Um, I like the fact that it holds the 5 mil e-liquid capacity on the tank. It's very user-friendly. It's got the triangular airflow, which is to me a little bit different. It's a little bit more airy and I like airy vapes. So that to me works very, very well. I like the locking mechanism on the tank. I think that that's great because it doesn't just swivel, but it actually locks into place. You actually have to pick it up and then swivel it out. You can't do it without picking it up, which is a very, very good safety feature. Um, I love that it comes with a mesh coil. I love, love, love that. Um, 
Personally, I like the flavor on the mesh coils better than the other coils. The ceramic coil that they have is not bad, but I really prefer the ceramic one, I mean the mesh one, and not only that, you can go higher in wattage than you can the ceramic one. I like higher wattage devices, so that's great. I love the feel of this mod in my hand. I love, love, love that. It fits perfectly in my hand, so I really love that about this. It's just the perfect size. It's not too big, it's not too small. Another huge, huge pro for me is that the firing button is the display button. I really like that. Um, to me, it just looks slick, it looks clean, um, and it's, I mean, you can't get any easier than looking at the display and going ahead and firing it. I mean, it's that easy, so everything's in one place. I like the mode button. Um, rather than having to use the fire button for everything, I do like having the mode button and I like where it's placed because whenever you're holding a mod, you're not really holding it on the bottom. You're usually holding it right in the middle. So to me, that's perfect. It's keeping your hand on the display so you're not gonna be accidentally touching any of the buttons. So I really, really like that. Um, the menu is pretty user-friendly. I do think that it's user-friendly. You just go through it a couple times, you're gonna get it. I love that when you hit it, it fires right away. It's got that 0 .002 second firing. Um, that to me is a huge pro. Um, I like the fact that it takes three different size batteries. It takes the 21700 battery, the 2700 battery, or the 18650 with the adapter. Um, me, I need more battery during the day, especially at work. So to, having the 21700 or the 2700 is a lot better to me in my opinion, than the 18650, so I like that I can do any of them. Um, that to me is like a really, really huge pro. I like that the USB charging is on the side, or the firmware upgrade is on the side, it's not on the bottom or anything, so I do like the placement of that. And I just think that it just looks really, really slick. It just looks so awesome together. Um, the cons, there's one or two, two cons. One, you know, it doesn't have the user manual on this. I want to make sure that Vaporesso is sending out the user manual in the retail version. Um, two, big, big, big con is the display. The display, I like the display. I like the menu and everything. And I love, love, love that it's the fire button. But with this tint on it, it's really, really hard to see it at times. Um, in the dark, it's going to be great. But in the sunlight, it's going to be kind of hard to see. But other than that, I mean, if you have it set where you want it set and you're using it, I, there's absolutely no problem with it. I love the flavor on the mesh coils. Did I already say that? I really, really do. Um, currently, they do have this at, um, Ele well, Element Vape, I think, is sold out. But Element Vape will have it for $54.95. Heaven Gifts, if they don't already have it, will be having it. My vapor store is going to be getting it, but it doesn't have it currently. And a Lego mall is actually got it for $77.90. So I, I love it. I really love it. I like the feel of it. It's not heavy with the battery in it, but it's solid. It feels really, I, it really, really very well manufactured, very sturdy. I, I love the feel of it. Um, I love the look of it. I think that it's a very, very sleek. It's easy. You can put it in your pocket or whatever. Five clicks on, five clicks off. You're good to go. The tank capacity is awesome. Five mil tank capacity is really, really great. You can put this in wattage mode, in temperature control, in variable voltage. You can also have it in bypass mode. You've got so many options. And for Wendy, she loves options. So even if I don't use them, I want to have them. So that's great. And ha being able to change the wattage in temperature control is a very big pro for me because when I do use temperature control, I do like to be able to change my wattage. So that's it for this kit. That's it. Clouds and flavor, baby. Clouds and flavor. The juice I'm using, this is actually the Royal Muffin. This is the by the Queen line by Wendy Vapes. I have the link down below. Right now we are running a five bottle special, so you can get 20% off if you do purchase off, well, any five bottles. It doesn't, you can mix and match the flavors or whatever you want, you can mix and match the sizes. So all that information will be down below. I'll also leave the link down below for Vaporesso and the other links for where you can find it. And um, yeah, if you're looking for something that's small, compact, it takes three different size batteries, um, and it's got a really, really great tank. I, I definitely recommend this. So I'm going to let you go. All my social media links are down below. 
where you can find me. You can ask questions. You can do whatever. You can go ahead and leave me a comment down below. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.